Și ies. Sperar. I'm Sam. I'm a gunner on that old minesweeper. So I put the key over there. We had a mad time with Celio. But you'll know all about that, what with the newspapers and the wireless reports, yeah? Now we've had a mad week going off to rescue the good old BEF and half the French army from the tender mercies of the Wehrmacht and the Luftwaffe. We've seen all kinds of ships going to and fro from Dunkirk to England. We've seen Royal Navy ships, merchant ships, coasters, steamers, ferries, hospital ships, all sorts. Our first trip in was to a place called Zudicott's Beach near Dunkirk. On the way in, we could see all of our lads queuing up on the beach, waiting for a lift home. The tide was low, so we couldn't get in close. We sent in our small boats, and they picked them up and brought them back out to us again. My job, though, was watching the skies, because I'm one of the gunners on the 12-pounder quick-firing gun we've got fixed at the stern of the ship. But luckily, it was cloudy. There were no aircraft about. We got the boys on board, took them back to Ramsgate. Next day into Zudicott Beach, a different story. It was clear. Jerry planes were dropping bombs and mines onto the beach, into the water. Our lads were running about into the sand dunes to cover. And uh, next to us, an old paddle steamer, close to the shore. She got hit by a bomb and she caught fire quickly. Now we saved as many men as possible from the water, but they were in a right state, covered in oil, some had horrible burns. There were dead bodies everywhere as well. It was awful. Got them on board just in time, because suddenly these two Messerschmitt 109 fighters came diving down at us, blasting away with their machine guns. Well, that was our chance to give us as good as we got, so we blasted back at them with a 12 pounder. We just opened fire, two Spitfires came low over the water, chased Jerry off. It was great. I was worn out though. It's hard work shoving 12 pound shells into the gun every four seconds or so. So we set off again towards Dunkirk, went past Bray Dunes, and there was a whole long line of army lorries that had been driven out to make a pier with boards on top for the soldiers to walk upon to get to our boats, which they did. We took a few off that way as well. Some of them though found some little boats on the shore and they rowed out to us. Now, one of them was Captain Johnny Churchill, the Prime Minister's nephew, no less. We got them back sharpish. The next trips were into Dunkirk Harbour itself. We could see on the way in for miles the smoke. When we got there, the town was burning. Now, most soldiers were being taken off the East Mole, or the breakwater, and uh, we saw steamers doing that, we saw frigates, we saw destroyers, and they had these little Dutch barges as well. What I did notice though, was all these little boats, civilian ones, going in, taking up soldiers from the beach out to our ships further out. They were what we call the little ships. They were yachts, they were little motor day boats, they were fishing boats. Most of the men came back to the Navy though. Next time into Dunkirk, it was dark and the Germans were bombing and strafing with machine guns and we tied up to the mole to pick up, pick up our load of soldiers. Well, we got them on board. As we set sail again, we passed a destroyer that was under attack from Stuka dive bombers. They were queuing up in line to come down and dive to the pond on this destroyer and they hit her. And sadly, she sank very quickly but there were a lot of blokes in the water and other ships were picking them up best they could. We got back home safely that time anyway. The next couple of trips in, into Dunkirk we picked up mainly French soldiers. Now on the way out we saw a minesweeper like ours suddenly explode so we think it might have been torpedoes or a sea mine just not sure. Mind you we were lucky with the weather I tell you it was calm and the low cloud kept enemy planes away for most of the time. But, Skipper says we saved nearly 2,000 men, so that's good. Our lads in the crew did really well as well, because they're only youngsters, you know. 
But wars aren't won by evacuations, are they? So, of course, we will fight them on the seas and oceans, but only when I finish my tea, when I see my missus and the kids, then I'll get on with the job.